reduced profits. But bank bosses are confident of a recovery this year as provisions for bad loans decrease. Brenda Kerubo speaks to KCB Group CEO Joshua Oigara on Captains of Industry. <music> KCB Group Limited is a financial services holding company with its headquarters here in the capital Nairobi. It has subsidiaries in Tanzania, Uganda, Rwanda, South Sudan and Burundi. Joshua Oigara is the KCB Group Chief Executive Officer and Managing Director. He joined KCB Group in November 2011 from Bamburi Cement where he served as Group Financial Director and Chief Financial Officer for the East Africa region. Joshua, when you're making these operating decisions, what do you think about first? Do you think about the employees, the shareholders, or the customers? Our ambition as KCB has always been driven. We are a very focused organization, and we call ourselves a purpose-driven organization. Our ambition is to simplify the lives of our customers, the life of our employees, the life of our stakeholders, to make progress. No one is more critical than the other. Yeah? And so when we say we're looking for a, a triple bottom line effect, we look at our people, we look at the planet, we look at our profits. It is those three, and, and that's why we've been very successful. So the answer to you is that employees are as important as the business that we run, as our customers, and all the stakeholders we face. Is there anything good that came out of 2020? I mean, I would say that it has recalibrated our vision of how we see our lives and how we build our relationships. Things that are important. You know, today, perhaps the most critical part is to know the people that are closest to you, family is extremely critical today, not just for me as an individual, but also for our, our, for our businesses and also for our staff. Number two, we've also learned what is important in terms of the investment decisions that we make. There are things that we spend our money on that we need. So personally, even from our terms of financial management, people are much better. We see more savings. Mm -hmm. And savings is the future of development. For savings is the future of growth. Because sometimes what I have learned in, in my businesses in the last year is change is something we always take for granted. Mm. COVID-19 has shown us that change is very permanent. Mm. It comes every day. So we always have to make sure we are preparing ourselves for what will. The way you wear a mask today, you weren't wearing a mask before. Now you learn that you need to carry something for yourself. That is a value I see for the businesses. Mm. And how has it been being a CEO in the middle of a pandemic? Uh, when everybody is expecting you to have most of the answers. We have a crisis management team, which I, it's not just me alone. Is a team of our made of a team of close to 20 executives that were across the group, and we also we actually do have a crisis management coordinator that works for me directly. They are always you never see them, but when a crisis comes in, they come in. So that is for me is the bedrock of midwifing our transition and success during. And I say our response has been successful mm -hmm. as a bank in the crisis, mm -hmm. and and so we had sometimes daily conversations, twice a daily conversations. And we've learned new ways. We learned that we don't have to meet physically. You know, we learned that we could do an e-meeting, everyone could be involved. And what was the most difficult situation that you had to diffuse and what did you learn from that experience? So I would say two things for me. If I was to look at it before, is to look at the different lens just beyond the traditional areas of crisis. You know, cyber security is one of the biggest issues you look at. You know, terrorism is another area we look at, you know, and sabotage. Those are the three areas we tend to look at. But now from a health perspective, we are looking at that as a new area of focus and then to respond to, to it. That's one thing I would say. And then number two is like, to pick a lot of information globally, being more connected on a global scale. Because we, we are more connected than we believe today. So see. what does the 2021 need leader look like? And I've come to learn that you don't know everything, which is really what a leader should be able to do. And also be able to get input from the team. I have a very strong management team, a team of 10 that I work with directly. And that has been the bedrock as well. So today, the team effort is actually what's delivering. If I was alone, I would never have been able to pull through. We are 7,000 people in our organization. We have more than today 100,000 partners we work with, their agents or merchants or other partners out there. We will never be able to achieve that. Mm -hmm. So it's about more collaborations and also being open to different. So if you were not in banking, then what would you be doing? Well, I love banking. <laughs> and that, that, so I don't have. I think if my life was to be recruited again, I still would remain here in the banking sector. Mm -hmm. Remember, I came from a different sector. I came from manufacturing. You know, that's spent a lot of time there. 
and I'm enjoying what I'm doing today in banking. I don't think I'll ask for anything else. This is really what I enjoy doing today.